What is up everybody, Santa Walton here. Welcome to my reaction to the Sandy Cheeks Showcase for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Before we get into the reaction, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more content coming soon. Yeah, um, a few days ago they did the Spongebob Squarepants Showcase, showing off his moves and things like that, more of the gameplay. I thought it was pretty cool there. Uh, Spongebob is like, they said like more of the beginner character, like all of around type attacks, you know. But Sandy Cheeks, uh, I'm curious to see how she acts. They did... Similar to Spongebob, Patrick, and I think they did Michelangelo as well. Uh, they showed like on the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Twitter like some of her moves, but we didn't get to see any of them in action. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see all that she has in store and how she would play and all that. I know she uses like, karate and stuff like that. She uses, she uses the lasso for one of the moves, but, yeah, I want to see it in action. And also, hopefully, if we can see her taunt and like the victory animation and things like that, that would be really cool, too. And also see more of like whatever stage you're going to show off, either Glove World or Flying Dutchman Ship. I'm not sure which one they'll be for Sandy, but yeah. Hey everybody. Oh, Glove World. All right. From the Nickelodeon All -Star Brawl Development Team. Oh, it has Today, a stage hazard, I guess. I'll show you the moveset of the Texan karate fighter and scientist, Sandy Cheeks. That's cool. Reminds me of uh, Onet on Sandy is Super Smash Bros. Melee. Brawler that likes to stick close to her opponents and oh, I like the design of the stage. Her specials allow her to cover a lot of ground to pursue opponents, or to quickly retreat when she Oh, wait. Spot. That one, that one uh, ride, the carousel, looks just Texas like that. That looks just like that uh, enemy from Battle for Bikini Bottom. The G-Love or whatever. Like this one right here. And that may or may not be intentional, I don't know. But like the whole green and purple color scheme with like the hands around it. Hey, it may be a coincidence, but whatever. <laughs> Y'all better not take the name of Texas in vain. <laughs> Let's yeah. start this rodeo with Sandy. I love Sandy as a character. So hopefully Sandy's she's a good fighter. Neutral is double jab. The first jab only deals damage, while the second does considerable knockback. Her light up is uppercut. And her light down is Ooh, tail the tail sweep. sweep. That's cool. This move hits both sides. Use it when you're not mm. sure which side your opponent will end up on. Let's talk okay. about Sandy's air light attacks. Sandy's light neutral air is... I love the old punch. lady fish, by the way, here. You combo this move into <laughs> itself to keep sending your opponents off the stage. Sandy's light up air is... Aerial uppercut. Sandy's light down air is... Downward kick. Sandy's light dash attack is... Acorn tackle. We had to include an acorn somewhere. Oh, okay. One cannot talk about martial arts without mentioning Sandy's yeah. strong attacks. Karate. Sandy's strong neutral is kick punch combo. She kicks forwards and then quickly. Oh whoa! You get picked up by the roller coaster. That's cool. Sandy's strong up is punch kick tail combo. Sandy's strong down is. Karate chop! <laughs> this slower attack will turn opponents into mincemeat. Nice. Let's go over Sandy's air strong attacks. Oh, Gary's there too Sandy's on the stage. Neutral air is you can see bicycle him. Kick. The attack moves you forward in the air a bit, which makes it a good option when recovering. Okay. Sandy's strong up air is upward stomp. Sandy's strong down air is Tail spin. Launch your enemies upwards with this move and then combo it with her strong up air upward stomp. Sandy's strong dash is Shell Sandboard Slide. Oh, cool. And now let's look at a curious Whoa. mix of sci fi technology and the, Texas. You can change the angle of the jetpack. That's cool. Sandy's neutral special is the lasso. The sheriff. The sheriff, nice. She throws a lasso to catch and pull in an opponent. The That's Texan cool. Way. That's really cool. That's a great way of connecting those slower, stronger attacks she has. A grapple. Sandy's standard up special. special is rocket pack. She flies up. Kind of like Firefox in a way. You can the change the angle. Time while flying to do yeah, that's cool. Sideways or downwards. That's really cool. Sandy's down special is extendo, extendo boots. boots. She activates her extendo boots. I know that's a reference to an episode. But I haven't seen that episode. Trigger the move again to retract her boots <laughs> while staying at the top. 
This even makes it an interesting mix Whoa, of Whoa, she grabs the ledge with her tail? <laughs> and finally, Sandy's taunts. Uh, spinning the acorn? Okay. Sandy stages. That's an okay time. Love world. I love the, the stage. This looks really cool. Stage with a chasm in the center, a middle platform, as well as a Ferris wheel with four additional rotating platforms. Yeah, very interesting layout there. Be on the lookout for the occasional roller coaster cart. They'll hit like a truck. <laughs> and now let's watch Sandy show off her martial arts skills in a real match. Play nice. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two. I just realized this the ride in the back of the glove boat, like the love boat. <laughs> nice. I like Sandy's sound effects, like the her punching and kicking. Yeah, I'm gonna love using the lasso move. That's really cool. And the winner is... Oh, SpongeBob's crying. And that was Sandy. Thank you all. Ah, uh, that's Sandy's victory animation. A little underwhelming, but SpongeBob's losing animation. That's a great reference too. All right, so that was Sandy showcase there. Uh, one thing right off the bat, I like to say, compared to only the SpongeBob showcase, that's the only two we've had so far. Um. First off, like right off the bat, I think the Glove World stage is really, really cool, actually. Uh, the Jellyfish Field stage, obviously, is meant to be a more standard type stage, like better for a like, competitive type play. But this seems like a really fun, just like a fun stage, you know. <laughs> the layout's pretty unique. I didn't expect at all that the roller coasters will play any part of it. I thought it was just going to be the Ferris wheel. But it seemed like, yeah, like you see the little flashing warning symbol. Kind of like, like I said, O-Net in... Uh, in Super Smash Bros. Melee, like when the cars are coming, but this time it's with the roller coaster and it goes down and up. And yeah, like back here, if you look at it, it looks like it picks you up sometimes at least. Because it looks like SpongeBob was, got picked up by the roller coaster. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's around here, but also the gameplay, Sandy, I really like a lot. See, look, SpongeBob's. Oh, he's just standing on top of it. I see. So if you don't get hit by it, you can still jump on top of the roller coaster. All right, so that's how that works. That makes sense, I guess. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I like Sandy's gameplay. Like, the punching and kicking obviously is really cool, but also like the lasso to grab you closer and start like punching, kicking again, using the tail in certain moves. I really like the reference to like the sandboarding thing like you get on the big shell and sandboard that's a really cool reference but overall yeah uh between spongebob and sandy i think just from looking at gameplay and not playing it myself sandy looks like a more fun character to me but yeah I, i'm definitely the type of person that likes to play every character in a fighting game or whatever like in smash i don't really have a main really there are characters that I, like i'm better at with and i like playing as but i really do like trying out every character and I often play like do the random button like when I'm deciding who to play and all that but yeah uh but let me know in the comments down below what do you think about Sandy's moveset and what did you think about the glove world stage I'm really curious so let me know down below